You've arrived safe and sound. Good to hear. Well, you're officially the new night guard for this old establishment, so... Congrats! The staff here often call me employee number three, but you... Pleased to meet you. Now, I assume you read all the terms and conditions and all of that, right? Nah, to be honest, I don't read those long paragraphs either. <laughs> Uh, let's just assume you did, so we can get straight to the important information you'll actually need to know, shall we? This place was left to rot for a few years, and as you probably already know, we've been working on renovating it. It should be safe and ready to open in a few weeks, so it's important for you to keep an eye on the building to make sure that everything stays in one piece. To do so, just flip up the cameras next to your desk and click the buttons on the map, but you probably already knew that. Uh, also, before you came along, we had another guard here that quit, but he did leave plenty of useful information, so lucky you, right? Now, according to his notes, the most important thing you need to keep an eye on, so the burglars, are the animatronics. He's right, to an extent. Uh, the thing with them is, their facial recognition systems never acted properly during the night, and since they've been deactivated for so long, it's probably made it impossible for them to detect them as a human. So, let's say they theoretically find a way inside your office. They'll most likely see you as, well, a piece of tubby toast. It sounds stupid, I know, but it's just the way they're programmed. The thing with that is, though, it's not exactly funny because if they detect you as such, they'll most likely try to stuff you inside the tubby toaster. Again, it is only a theory. A ridiculous sounding theory, but a theory nonetheless. And now, the guard also said that each of the animatronics, animatronics, tubby bots, the company calls them, they behave differently from one another. So tonight, you'll most likely be seeing two active ones. If you look on your monitor, on camera 2A, there's a red tubby bot named Poe, and in camera 5, there's a yellow tubby bot named Lala. And now listen up, because this is very important information. The guard said that Poe likes to loop around the bottom of the building, and she'll most likely enter your office through that big open door on the right. Now, Poe is blind, and she can't detect your face, but she's been acting kind of twitchy recently, and she can sense you if you move around too much. So, if Poe should enter your office, just flip down your cameras and don't move. Eventually, she'll walk away as if you're invisible. Now, about Lala. You might have noticed that she doesn't have a head, but her systems are in shockingly good condition. She'll most likely try to get to your office through the left wing, so if you see her in camera alpha, I'd close that door right away. You might only have a few seconds to react, though. Uh, uh, oh, right, the doors. Uh, unfortunately, due to budget cuts, we can't exactly have a closing door on the right side, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem if you follow the guard's advice. Uh, oh, that also extends to the power supply. We only have a limited amount of power for the night, so the more stuff you keep turned on, the more the consumption will likely overload, so don't let that happen. Uh, well, that should be it. So, good luck. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.
it going? Your first shift was probably the easiest thing ever. Everything looked to be in order when we came here this morning, so nice job. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Tonight, I'll go over what the guard had to say about the other two tubby bots. The first of these is Tinky Winky. He's the purple one that was lying on the ground next to Poe on camera 2A. You might think he'll stay there due to his lack of legs, but no. It is possible for him to move around the building, so if you want to stop him, you just have to keep watching the camera he's on. The guard apparently found out that Tinky Winky's hearing is a bit more sensitive than the others, and the sound of a camera turning on is a bother to him. So, uh, the company then added a system that will modify the sound of the camera turning on to be greatly amplified if it detects him in the room. So, that's a little less work on your part, isn't it? <laughs> so, about the green tubby bot, Dipsy, the one standing next to Lala on camera 5. Uh, well, according to the guard, Dipsy didn't actually move. So, one less thing to worry about, right? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. The company's seen this as an issue, so the staff have been working on trying to get Dipsy back up and running again. They happen to make a good bit of progress today, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was back up and running tomorrow. If he does get back up and running, I will try to gather as much information on him as I can, but for now, that should be it, so keep up the good work, man.
Alright, big news, dude. Dipsy's working again. Crazy, I know! Apparently the staff must have flicked the right switch on him somewhere because they still don't exactly know what they did to fix him. That's not exactly a good thing, though. <sighs> Alright, look. They probably aren't gonna bother checking these calls, so let me just level with you this one time. You need to keep Dipsy away. He is not like the other tubby bots. Uh, apparently the company only gave Dipsy this weird kind of building control for some stupid reason. I guess it was meant to help dim the lights for their performances, but as you might expect, it doesn't work how it should, like with everything else around here. I haven't exactly seen him do it, but that should probably be thought enough to keep him away, right? So just go to camera four. There should be a new button on your camera there that says Stop Dipsy. If Dipsy gets close to your office, just click and hold that button to release ingredient fumes that only he can detect. If you release enough of them, it'll cause him to think he needs to do something with the custard machine, which we don't have anymore, but it'll still cause a system overload that should make him go back to where he started on stage. The only issue is that the amount of fumes we have is very limited, so please use them only if it's absolutely necessary. Uh, on another note, I've been looking through some of these company files that nobody's been paying attention to. I don't think any of the other employees have seen these before. It must belong to the CEO. Uh, I didn't exactly read all of it because there was a lot, but they did mention the tubby bots a couple of times. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Ever since the incident some years ago, things have been real fishy around here. Anyway, that should be it for tonight, so just remember what I said about Dipsy and stay safe. Good night.